On Monday, the Supreme Court decided that they won't review an attempt to reinstate Bill Cosby's sexual assault conviction that freed the comedian back in June of 2021. Last year, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled that Cosby should not have faced charges due to a deal made back in 2005 with the previous district attorney. Since his release last year, Cosby has been a free man and his latest decision makes it official that he won't be taken to trial again over this same case. Now, although according to the Washington Post, the district attorney did state that the prosecution could reconsider if new evidence was found. Today, we have our company hype analyst, Vanessa Fraction, Capone, and Pierre calling in the show to give their reactions. So before we dive in, I want to read a statement from Cosby's spokesperson, and he had this to say. He says, Mr. Cosby's constitutional rights were bait and switched by Kevin Steele, Judge Steve T. O'Neill, and their cohorts. This is truly a victory for Mr. Cosby, and it shows that cheating will never get you far in life in the corruption that lies within Montgomery County's district attorney office has been brought to the center stage of the world. I want to dive right into reactions and get your thoughts, and I'll start with you, Pierre. Are you surprised by the Supreme Court's decision? No. I mean, they really didn't have nothing to do, and there's no time to waste, um, you know, um, you know, it, it, it's plain and simple. I mean, it, it doesn't always work like that, plain and simple with us. But in this situation, the man is, what, 90, 80 years old? What we go? What we really doing here, man? So it's a waste of time, and I'm glad they moved on. Vanessa, I'll come to you next. What are your thoughts? Are you, are you surprised by the Supreme Court's decision? No, I didn't know they had to make another decision. I thought we were done, you know, so I didn't know that they had, you know, took it up just that much higher. And again, they're trying to bring in a new justice. They got to come uh, review all the stuff for Sister Katanji Brown. They don't have time to be dealing with this old news and, and, and you know, and no offense to, to anyone that's still suffering from it and so forth. But as far as the legal legalities of it all, Again, I thought it was over. So, no, I wasn't surprised that they um, were hands off of the situation. Capone, uh, last but not least, what, what are your thoughts? Are you surprised, any? No, not at all. Um, I'm happy that <laughs> I could say we got a little justice. <laughs> well, all right. So I think, you know, the, the next question, we know there's a documentary that talks about, you know, the process of, you know, the things that have happened over the years. Um, there's been, you know, good feedback and then other people kind of feeling iffy about it. I'll start with you, Pierre. What do you think Bill Cosby should do next now that it's, you know, it's case is closed. There's no reopening unless new evidence is found. What do you think should be Bill Cosby's next move? Go on tour and talk about that shit. No, I'm just messing shit. No, don't do that, Bill. No, sir, bro. No, no, sir. You get too many booze. They, 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 they plant too many people in the audience for you. Um, he's just right <laughs> off in the sunset. You know, he had a great career. Let us kind of, you know, for those who still want to you know, think about his career, let's ride out with his career and be happy with what he did and all the joy he gave us. Sure, his last things at the end of his career that came out, you know, you know, I, I hope they didn't negate what he's done before that. So I think he should just lay low and just enjoy his, you know, the rest of his peaceful time that he has here on Earth. Capone, I'll come to you next. What do you think? What do you think Bill Cosby should do next now that, you know, the case is, is closed? Go ahead and try and buy uh, NBC again. <laughs> yeah, try, try and buy NBC and uh, watch them make something else up. It's, it's so funny that you said earlier that they're going to, uh, only if they can find something to bring him to trial again. They ain't had nothing in the first place, but that's the way they do us. Vanessa, I'll come to you next. What do you think, uh, you know, what should Bill Cosby do next or what should be his, his next step after this? Oh, that's such a a question. Uh, <laughs> I'm not for sure what he should do, but I'm more on Pierre. We go relax, enjoy your <laughs> life, you know, that kind of thing. If you want, he can come and see me in Dallas, Texas at the Arling at the Arlington Improv at the end of the month. Um, please don't buy me any drinks. But um, wow. you know, um, <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just wow. saying, like, let's now that you have your freedom, go and have fun. Wow, Vanessa. <laughs> now I appreciate you all for chiming in. Now you know, as we know, last year they decided, so the Supreme Court decided not to reopen the case because a deal had been made. But this year they didn't give any real reason as to why they decided not to move forward 
with reopening the case. You know, there was a long list of other cases that needed to be taken care of. And, you know, they decided that Bill Cosby was not one of the ones that needed to be reopened. So I appreciate you all for chiming in. We talked about what Bill Cosby wanted to do next. So I want to know what y'all have it coming up next as well. Vanessa, I'll start with you. What do you have coming up? Where will I be? Um, you can always look for me online at Vanessa Fraction. Follow me, subscribe to my YouTube, um, listen to me on uh, the Nappy Boy Radio podcast with T-Pain. Um, and uh, coming up next, I'll be in Arlington, Texas um, at the end of the month, uh, March 25th through the 27th. I'll be in Arlington, Texas doing five shows during that weekend. Thanks. So get your tickets to see me. Awesome. Capone, what do you have coming up? <laughs> I see your background. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to be in uh, New Jersey. I'm going to be in um, uh, Delaware. At April, I'm doing an April Fool's Day with the Team Capone tour. Y'all know I'm on tour right now with Team Capone. And uh, we're going to be at the Apollo doing the April Fool's Day show. We're also going to be at NJ Pack. We're going to be at the Brooklyn Theater. And we're going to be at the University Theater. It's, it's a lot. And I'm, I'm just thankful. Yes. Absolutely. And I got a chance to see Team Capone when they came to Atlanta. So it's definitely a great show. You guys should definitely uh, go out and watch. Pierre, last but not least, what you got coming up? I will be in Zodiacs in Youngstown, Ohio. One more time. Zodiacs. I mean, <laughs> my career moving up. I ain't at the MG Impact. I ain't no theater. I'm at Zodiacs <laughs> in Youngstown, Ohio. And I'll be at Silks in, in Cleveland, okay? Silks. I will be in I Silks like Silk. in Cleveland. I'm okay, I've never been in Silks. <laughs> When oh, I was okay. with well, Silks, he didn't want to do it with me. Oh, okay. Well, 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 they offered me twice as much money, so I'm doing Silks now, okay? <laughs> okay. I can't they made afford the help, uh, uh, I can't help the fun Team Capone. I got to do Team Pierre, so <laughs> I'll be in, this Friday and this Saturday. I'll be at Zodiacs in Youngstown Friday, and this Saturday I'll be at Silks in Cleveland for two shows, okay? One more. <laughs> awesome. Well, as always, congratulations to y'all. I love, you know, being able to hear and see y'all still moving and on the road. As always, I appreciate y'all for calling in and chiming in on this topic. And to the audience, you heard from us. Now we want to hear from you in the comments below. What are your thoughts about the latest reveal of Cosby's case? For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. Did you enjoy today's show? You can stop by ComedyHype.com backslash shop to pick up your Comedy Hype News show mug today. And don't forget to always protect black culture.